Hey homo sapiens and my whites, it's me Rogue Marble Scott. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back any new watchers and subscribers. If you are a new watcher and you want to see more of this face, don't forget to press that subscribe button and the notification button because yeah I'll be crawling up into your emails not your DMs <laughs> anyway so this look has been inspired by um, Chinese New Year and I've celebrated Chinese New Year since I was like maybe Seven? Yeah, maybe when I was seven and I'm not going to give away how old I am now But I have been celebrating Chinese New Year for a long while now just because um, I grew up with a lot of Vietnamese and Chinese friends when I was growing up like I just said um, So it came accustomed to me although Obviously, I'm not Chinese um, but it became a custom where, you know, my family and their families would get together and we would celebrate Chinese New Year as well as New Year's for anyone that's of any other religion and also pagan. Um, so yeah, we all celebrate it together and it, it means a lot to me. So therefore, I decided to choose to do a makeup look today inspired by colours that I typically see, you may typically see you know, around Chinese New Year and um, the lunar calendar. What zodiac sign are you in the Chinese um, calendar? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, without further ado, we're going to go straight into the mu uh, musical. No. <coughs> oh my. Anyway, we'll go on to the tutorial. So starting off this tutorial with eyes, I'm going in with the shade Miley first with a dense fluffy brush and as you can see I'm using that on top of my crease onto my brow bone and I'm blending it up towards my brow, bolo, blah, 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 brow bone and then I'm flicking it out where you can see the tail of my um, eyebrow and I'm pushing that colour in towards my uh, temples but not too much I'm just creating a blend then I'm going in with a packing brush and I'm going in with the shade Julia and I'm just going to create where I want my cut crease to be before I blend everything out so I'm using that and I'm just making sure that the colour is opaque and as you can see I'm doing exactly the same thing but more towards my crease um, yes my brows are done and I did my brows this short today just because I wanted to go for a whole oriental kind of uh, makeup look and also I couldn't do them how I typically would because my eyebrows are very hairy but they're not hairy anyway going in with the same shade Miley again with that dense brush I'm blending those two shades together to make a nice seamless blend before we cut that crease So now I'm going to cut this new crease and as you see I started at the top of my eyelid first and then I'm working in towards the inner corner and then I'm going to drag that inner corner later on just further in towards my nose filling in with my um, shade of concealer that I'm choosing as you can see I'm going in with that concealer and then I'm just going to drag this um, concealer all the way out almost and then blend that in before we go in with our next shade i don't know i've just been really interested in doing cut creases lately so i just you know decided let me you know experiment with different ways and doing cut creases and as you can see i'm just going into my inner corner and then i'm going into my inner corner using the color keely and then once i've got the opacity of keely okay i'm going to go in using the same brush and I'm going to use the shade Bowie and this is where you see how these pigments how these eyeshadows blend like amazingly like I'm not even blending way harshly it's just doing it by itself and the palette that I am using is the proud palette by Jolie Beauty and yes I'm going to throw up a discount code here right next to my ear where you can get 10% off if you use this anyway I'm just concentrating that on my outer corner 
I'm leaving a space in the middle because in the middle of my eyelid this is where we are going to place some glitter yes I love glitter so the glitter that I'm using today is inclusion from the proud palette most of the shades that I'm using on my eye today are from the proud palette so if that's something you're interested in make sure you go and buy the palette if you like currently on a um, pre-order but you can get it soon going in now with freedom and I'm blending the freedom into the inclusion but also making sure that some of that freedom is on the bowie section before we go into our last shade which will be I believe it's in unity hold on got that the wrong way this is inclusion now unity is the one that was in the middle going in now with the shade stun i believe from the no yeah it's stun from the vivacious palette and i'm just darkening up my outer corner and bringing in that swoopness towards more my temple and hairline and then going in with a liquid liner and i'm just you know cutting and defining that cut crease a little bit more you know giving it some graphicness before we move on with the look So just taking a makeup wipe and just cleaning up what I don't want on my face because I do want a graphic sharp look. And that line that you can see is basically concealer where I was carving it out and then I was just like, you know what, I don't want to mix concealer onto my skin and blend it down so I'm just going to clean off the makeup away. Anyway, as you can see, I've just put on foundation and I've put on liquid highlighter and I'm going to blend in all of the foundation first before I mix in that liquid highlighter onto my face because I do want my face to have today a sheen to it but I also want to also have a white cast so if you've noticed in the um, in the intro I did have like a white cast on my face because I really wanted this kind of ethereal but authentic Chinese look and Chinese people in in ancient Chinese history and maybe now today do have like this whole thing where lighter and brighter is better so I was trying to use that as a way to you know incorporate it into this look doing my concealer now and you know I'm not doing it any differently than I normally do um, just throwing that on basically I'm blending it out with a damp beauty sponge And yes, I'm going in with that concealer a second time. Not because I'm not happy with this concealer's coverage or anything, but I just wanted like basic high coverage, full coverage underneath my eyes uh, before I went to set and bake it afterwards. Anyway, I'm just going to blend that in. Now I'm just going to do my nose and my forehead area and I'm just going to blend that in using a damp sponge, obviously. And then we're going to contour and today i was <clears throat> sorry i was going to contour my nose to the point where it was needle like but i chose to opt out because i felt like the eyes was dramatic enough the face doesn't need to be and did you see how i just contoured my chin area yeah i like doing my um, chin like that when i want my chin to look smaller and my forehead to look massive and my forehead is massive enough do I need it to look any bigger no but I chose to today anyway going in with loads of translucent powder just to create a white cast I mean normally this um, setting powder would you know not cast such a white uh, cast on your face but I really wanted it to you know make my face look just a tiny bit ashy going in with my normal powder of choice and i'm just going to do my nose and just underneath my eyes and buff that out afterwards but then i'm going to do my chin as you can see and then underneath my contour 
Like, why do I keep missing these steps when I'm doing voiceovers? I hate doing voiceovers sometimes. <laughs> anyway, I'm buffering it out now. And I'm just going to spritz my face and then use a damp beauty sponge, the one that I've been using already, to push that into my skin and make everything look nice and glowy where it needs to be looking glowy. Going in with a um, highlighter. Where's this highlighter from? It's from NYX, the Sugar Trip Palette. And yeah, I'm just going in with um, one shade and then I'm going to go on top with it with another shade. I'll link, I'll put that in the description, but they don't actually have names. So one's gold and one's more of a bronzy tone in, in the palette. Then I'm going under my eyes using Stun just to, you know, create a little pow pow. And then I'm going in with some of... I'm going in with the Vivacious palette actually to do my inner corners and the inner corners that I'm using is Orb first and then I go in with Sunshine. Going in with that highlighter that I've already used on my face, I'm going in lightly on my nose, on my tip and on my bridge and then we're going to move on. What are we moving on to next? Lips and look my hair is done. So using a um, lip liner, I'm just lining the tops of my lips and then on my bottom lip I'm going to just do the middle of the bottom lip reason why because I want those parts to sparkle when I you know, do my photos and when I do my outro and intro and whatnot so that's why I'm doing it like that you know everyone does their makeup different anyway this is pretty much the look because my lashes are on and I just need to put on my little costume so guys that's how I got the look and I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you're in, inspired by some of the shades that I've used and this is a different kind of cut crease that I've done today. Um, yes, I'm, I'm really happy with this look. Not a look that I would actually go out with. No, I would if I was going to like a really big event. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Happy New Year, guys. Oh, just before you go, subscribe. Subscribe, okay? Bye. Frank Moby Scott. Gong Hei Fat Choi, everyone. That's actually Cantonese, I think. It's not Chinese, because I don't know any actual Chinese people that speak Chinese. They all speak Vietnamese.